The floodgate is a relatively new item in the Buildcraft mod pack. It operates in the opposite way to a pump, in the sense it can take liquid stored in a tank and then release it out into the game world. Effectively, it operates the same way a human player using a bucket would, by simply converting stored liquid into a liquid source block that spreads naturally. They're not very costly to craft, requiring 4 iron ingots, 3 iron bars, 1 iron gear, and a tank. As of Buildcraft version 4.0.2, if you follow this recipe, you'll be able to craft a floodgate. Once crafted, the floodgate is very easy to use. It has no interface, you simply need to provide it with the liquid you want to use. So for this example, I'm going to be pumping water from this tank using a wooden waterproof pipe and a redstone engine. I recommend placing the tank and pipe first if you're going to have your tank this close to the floodgate. This is because the wooden waterproof pipe has a tendency to lock onto the floodgate instead of the tank, which causes the redstone engine to pump from the floodgate instead. As soon as liquid is pumped through a pipe connecting to one of the faces on the floodgate, the liquid will begin flowing out. By default, it'll come out of the bottom, appearing in the space immediately below the floodgate. However, if that space is unavailable, the liquid will appear in a nearby adjacent space. The floodgate will produce one liquid source block for every bucket of liquid it's provided with. So, for example, I have one tank here, which can hold 16 buckets worth of liquid, in this case, water. The floodgate will continue operating until the tank is completely empty, creating a total of 16 water source blocks. The floodgate will stay open and continue pumping liquid until its supply runs out. You can open and close the floodgate manually by powering it with a redstone signal. It will be closed when it detects a redstone signal, and it'll stay open when it doesn't. The liquid released by the floodgate will behave normally, and if necessary, source blocks can be recollected using a bucket or a pump. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like, and if you're interested in seeing more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, and have a great day!